I'm not joking when I tell you that this stunt is very dangerous. Do not try this at home. It's time to feed the dog. This one's gonna be a lot of fun because I have all of my friends with me. My wife, Ani, we have Sarah, we have Jason and Steve. Jason, you have a balloon for me? Appreciate it. Steve, a needle. If I take a needle and run it through a balloon, it may have unexpected results. But what if I take an arrow and run it through a balloon? It'll probably look something like this. Jason, you got any scissors? Cut that string just a bit. More. I need the balloon to be even closer to my assistants. I'm talking dangerously close. Now watch. I have a blindfold. Hold it up to the light. Blindfold. Bow. And an arrow. Now that I'm blindfolded, the only way I can make this work to have my assistant Julianne ring the bell. Bell. By listening, I can perceive where to aim. Now everybody in the room is wondering if this is gonna go well. If I miss, this could get ugly. Someone could truly get hurt. So now it's time for me to take all of my concentration and dial it in. I need focus. I'm talking laser beam focus. What you just saw was a stunt, not an illusion, a real stunt, and a very dangerous stunt. Don't ever try anything like that at home. I'm a professional, I was supervised by professionals, and this is my job. Don't ever try anything like that. But for me to do something high risk like this, whether it's this or going underwater chained up or riding a motorcycle blindfolded, I do these things, it requires laser beam focus. Every bit of my mind is focused on the task at hand. I cannot be distracted. It's very difficult, but I, 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 I have a confession to make. I have ADD. When I was 12 years old, I was diagnosed with ADD, and it stands for... Take two. I have... a. ADD, it stands for Attention De Deficit. Take four, take five. When I was 12 years old, I was, a, I was diagnosed with Attention. Take six, take seven. Oh. <clears throat> take 10. When I was 12 years old, I was diagnosed with Attention Deficit Disorder. Disorder. Which means my brain gets kind of scattered. It's hard for me to focus. And when it comes to me focusing on Jesus, I've found one thing that really helps, and that's a thing called fasting. Fasting for me gives me laser beam focus. In a world where it's so fast paced and, and so many things kind of drawing my attention, it's real easy for me when I am not eating to get focused on Jesus. 
when my flesh is kind of starving, literally, or saying, hey, feed me, feed me, feed me, it's a big reminder throughout the day to focus on Jesus and to pray and to listen to his voice. So fasting for me is about laser beam focus. Fasting is about focus, focusing on Jesus. And there's one thing I want to point out. Fasting requires a plan. You don't do this in isolation. You talk to your leader. Maybe it's a part of your community, but it's a discussion. Fasting is not for weight loss or to have a better body. That's not fasting at all. That might be a hunger strike or a terrible diet, but it's a terrible idea to do it that way. Fasting is a part of a spiritual discipline, and it requires planning. So you talk with your leader, with your parents, with your spiritual um, leader, disciple, or whatever that is, to have a plan. Fasting requires planning. Jesus began his ministry with laser beam focus. How did that happen? He went into the desert for 40 days and fasted. During his fast, all focus on one task, and that was him starting his ministry, going all the way to the cross, and the resurrection that followed. That was the focus. He illustrates or gives us an example of how we can focus, and it's by fasting. Whether it's a short amount of time, or maybe it's periodic time, or maybe it's an extended fast if God's asking you to do that. But fasting is about focusing and hearing God's voice, pressing in. Your flesh will get angry at you, but you focus, you push in to God. Fasting is good for us. It's good for our spirit to feed on the Word of God. It's time to feed the dog. Fasting feeds your spirit. Fasting feeds the dog.